Hey guys, welcome back to another Can I Fix It video. Today I have a Google Mini to fix. This is my friend's and he said that it doesn't work anymore. I believe this is the first version of the Google Mini. I have no idea how to tell. Okay, let's see what's wrong with this. Okay, let's plug it in. Okay, it goes out as soon as I plug it in, which could mean that there's a shot in there. Okay, so let's open this up and see what's going on. Okay, so the bottom comes out. Let's try and pry it out. I'm gonna put a little bit of IPA to loosen the adhesive. Now we have four screws over here. Looks like Torx. Okay, there's a ribbon cable down here. Okay, now I want to see if the shot is over here in this small board or further down. So what I'm going to do is try and connect it again without the other part. Let's see what happens. Okay, now it's staying on. Which means there's nothing wrong with the port area. Something down the line. Let's open it up further. We have a Torx 8 over here. The whole connector came out. It's not broken, we can push that back on later. There's pins over here and it will just go in here. Now I want to see if we still get the shot without the speaker so I'm going to connect this back on and plug the charger yeah so that's going off let's take it apart further back to T6 again so that's like a metal shield let's pry out the motherboard it seems to be glued down just gonna add some IPA. There we go. Okay, let's see what's going on. That's the main cable that's going to the micro USB. Where does it go? Okay, if you take a look over here, there's a pinout. One, two, three, four, five. One is the positive input and 5 is the ground so the rightmost is the positive and the leftmost is the ground so if we take a look here rightmost should be positive so we, we are not getting a read in there leftmost is ground that's correct so let's see where on the board it is from here to here is positive I'm not sure where the last pin is going so on the trace here this massive trace is positive and this is negative so if we keep going down corner pin is not and the one before that is positive on this side same over here the corner pin is not negative this should be negative so if i flip it around this corner pin i'm not sure where that is going but this should be positive and on this side that's the microphone pin and this is negative this big trace these two mu must be the data lines Okay, so let's see why this is shorting. The positive shouldn't be shorting. If you take a look here, this shouldn't have 0000. zero, zero, zero. So what I'm gonna do is inject voltage to see what's getting hot. Whatever's getting hot is probably the 
culprit. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna start off from this area and I'm gonna take off these components few at a time and hope the shot goes away. Okay, so I took off two chips, one from here and one from here. Now when I check the main power rail, it's showing 0.021, which I think is still a partial shot, not a complete one anymore. So what I'm gonna do is inject one volt again to see if anything's getting hot. It's taking two amps. Okay, so I know you didn't see it, but I was injecting one volt and all of a sudden it stopped sending current through. Now when I check the main power rail, it's not shorting anymore. I really have no idea what happened there. So I'm gonna put everything back one by one and keep checking to see which one's the faulty component. I'll get back to you once I find something. Okay, so I found the culprit. It's this chip right here. As soon as I connected this chip, it started showing a shot like this on the main power rail. When I take it off, it's showing 0.4 something, which is normal. So let's see what that chip does. So I believe this is it. It's a DC to DC power regulator. What it does is it takes the five volts in and it has two outputs with three amps and one amp. So I'm gonna order up that chip. Okay, so the chip finally arrived. That's it right there. Let's take the motherboard out and solder the chip on. Okay, let's prep the area. Ground point is really taking up the heat. That's why the solder blob is not molten. Okay, so that's the chip. Marvel 6868 Okay, so this is the correct orientation. I checked the previous video. Let's come come in with the hot air gun So after a few attempts I managed to get all the pins soldered on. This one was really tough because the middle ground pad was dispersing the heat quite well and my hot air gun wasn't hot enough to completely melt the solder in the middle. It was difficult to get it aligned properly and get the pins soldered on. But after a few attempts of using the hot air and the soldering iron, I got the pins soldered on. And down here, I had to replace this resistor over here with a different resistor because in the process of soldering this on I lost that small resistor. It was a 10 ohm resistor and I replaced it with another 10 ohm resistor which connected to this pin over here and this big pad over here. So these are the pins I'll go around the chip. It's not the prettiest of jobs but it's all soldered on. 
so this these two are in the same line anyway so it's all connected and these two corner ones are ground that's all good and then we have this side this is together these two pins are together everything else is connected and finally this side the left two pins are together on ground then we have the other pins there they're all connected okay so i put it all back together now when i connect it now if you see here the current goes up to a point one seven amps but nothing comes up on the google mini but when i press the reset button down here can you hear the click when i press the button down here this green light comes on when i press it down So I've tried to reset it by holding it down for at least 10 seconds. Nothing's happened. Okay, so I've got it all connected up here to the motherboard. It's taking 170 milliamps like before. Let me show you what the readings are around this area. They're on DC volts right now. One probe on the ground and then I'm just gonna go around. These are the two outputs of the pin and the input is probably somewhere here. So that's the input. 5 volts there. We have 1.3 here on this side. And 1.17 on the other side. So those are the two outputs of this chip. So there's one 5 volt input and two outputs of 1.3 and 1.2 that goes into these capacitors that's for that side and that's for the other side and it gets distributed around the board so I've looked all over the board and I can't find anything unusual nothing's getting heated up except for the main CPU yeah this is where the CPU is and it's just warm and I've been doing some research online to see what the issue is and I found out that this is a symptom of a bricked mini. I don't know if I bricked the Google mini by replacing the chip or if it was already bricked before the chip was burned but right now as it is it's it's a bricked Google mini. Unfortunately this is as far as I can take it. I have no idea what else I can do about this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you in the next one.